Good morning, this is Bree. We've got breakfast going down in the kitchen this morning. Not made by me, which is really lovely. Joyful actually is an incredible breakfast cook. And a lot of mornings she takes that on. And it's a huge blessing to me, isn't it? Good morning. You're so cute. <laughs> Can I have your Patsy? Thank you. <laughs> this looks good. Thank you so much, Joyful. <laughs> no, you are so cute, stink guy. Okay, we have breakfast cleaned up finally and lunch. It has been raining for four days straight, like pouring rain. Oops, like pouring rain. And today is the first day. I can get out in my garden and I'm so excited. Joyful got a new mattress. It was just delivered straight to my door, which is amazing. And we are gonna go get it inflated and get it put on our bed. I mean, I don't think I have to be inflated, but it like inflates itself with the oxygen in the air. Hey Grace and Joy, will you come help me? I've really been wanting to replace all of my kids' mattresses with organic cotton and wool mattresses for a lot of reasons, and I found a brand, Birch Mattresses, and they actually offered to sponsor this video, which I'm super excited about, but I'm super excited because I've been wanting one of these mattresses for my kids. You know, I have to buy a bunch of them, but I'm just gonna buy them one at a time because they are pricey, but they are worth it. You excited about your new mattress? Yeah. Will you help us get it upstairs? Oh. Grab the other end. Thank you. The cool thing about organic wool and cotton mattresses is that they don't have volatile organic compounds off-gassing that your kids breathe in, and they also don't have flame retardants sprayed all over them because wool is a natural flame retardant. Ray, we need help, Ray. <laughs> Zinc is allergen and mildew resistant because it is made of wool, partly made with wool. So anyone who's like allergic to dust mites, this is a great mattress. Oh my goodness, Joy, well, look at how we have, look at all this hard work for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna break my back. <sighs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Almost there, only halfway left. I mean, you're carrying it. Can you lift it up a little bit higher because it's hurting my back? Yeah, you're carrying it, I'm just balancing. Is that what's going on? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's a lot easier. This makes me so happy. Oh, you're gonna slip. These you'll keep on, but we'll put, we'll give you some clean sheets for your clean new mattress. If there's no VOCs, if I know that my child isn't breathing in harmful chemicals, I also know those harmful chemicals aren't going into the air, into the atmosphere, into my home. So it's better for the environment too. Well, because they also use like sustainable materials. They're really careful about how they source their materials. So you know that they're trying really hard to have as minimal impact on the earth as possible. All right, ready, pull. I need a knife. Is it going? Is it it's letting in? oxygen in, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> Get the plastic off! <laughs> that was so cool! That was so fast. Right now, if you buy a birch mattress, you get 25% off. And you also get two free pillows. I will make sure and link that sale below here and I'll also pin it in the comments. It'll be the first comment below here. Everything is GOTS certified, which is a different certification. What it says is that there's no harsh chemicals in any of the materials. That's a really great certification to look for whenever you're buying non-toxic items for your home, like towels, sheets, curtains even, of course, mattresses, pillows, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> the mattress is made up of layers of cotton, cashmere, wool, and latex. <sighs> this is a great mattress. This is nearly as heavy as um, yeah, old. Is that wild? Yeah. It is awful stylish bed. That's some great branding there. What do you think? <laughs> this makes me so happy. Oh, 
So, Joy, you get a 100-night sleep trial. So, if you don't like it, we can return it. I like it. I already said it. <laughs> and it's a 25-year warranty. So, you can use this until you're in your 30s. <laughs> and and hopefully, you'll have bigger than a twin. By the yeah. Way. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm actually so excited about that mattress. I've had one of those King Organic mattresses since, I guess right around the babies were born because I really didn't want chemicals, like the babies breathing them in because their lungs were already so compromised. Since then, I have been wanting to get each of my children an organic mattress. Oh, it feels good to be out in the garden. I mean, it has been pouring for days. You know things out here are gonna look amazing. But I think also there's some storm damage. Onions look incredible. I have more big onions than little onions, that's for sure. Beans have gone crazy. Calendula looking amazing. But they say knee high by the 4th of July. Some of them are knee high, so that's good. And here is the damage. All of my peas got knocked down with all the wind and rain. This is totally sad. So I'm going to try to fix that right now. I might need to get a kid to come out here and help me actually. So my plan is just to take some jute string and tie it. But I think what I might need a kid for is to like hold the peas up. Yeah, I need help. All right, I'll be right back. We're going to put them back up and then I'll, I'll pick a bunch. Or we can all pick them, whatever. Okay, Gracie, what do you think? I'm thinking if y'all hold them up, I can come through and weave the jute string across. Yeah, Grandma said what she does when they fall down is she like ties it and like loops them up and then ties it and then like loops them oh, up. Oh, that's such every a good idea. Few feet. All right, do you want to hold them up and then I'll start that process? Gosh. They're probably going to fall through, I think. Oh. Well, I guess it's good that they're thick. Hold on, I want these, these need to go up higher because we can't, um, I can't. I really see where the peas are. But I don't, I think they all fell down due to the rain because if they got to. Mmm, yummy okay. carrot. Can I have it? Sure. Yummy, thank you. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. Can I have it? Whoa. No, I'm keeping this. Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> look. <laughs> Just like. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, let me see. Oh, it's not very, it's not very thick. That's so cool. Water, did you pull that one? Yeah. Yeah, you can make a carrot person out of it if you flipped it over. Oh, is it a double? Yeah. That's it looks like it has two little legs. <laughs> Whoa! It wasn't that hard to pull. That's beautiful. Pick every single one, even if it's little. Let's see if we can get one more flush of flowers. Mom, I What's there to hold in the light of this moon? My mind keeps searching, but my heart decides thoughts Daddy. can be oh, cool. I don't even think the peas inside are good for eating because this one's so big. This would be one you would save for seed if you like let it dry on the vine. Not bad, just not very sweet. Probably three. Oops. <laughs> no. Mama, broccoli's going for it. Broccoli's going to be in the Gucci. That's because it's done. <laughs> when he says Gucci, I don't think he means the brand. <laughs> He means like gross and yucky and starting to rot. There's still some good broccoli on here. Here. Yeah. No, this one's good. And it's been so cool and rainy, it's probably sweet. Try it. Oh, it's raining. It Come is on. raining. Goodness. It's raining. Oh, look. Are we done? Are we done? I you tell me. Hey, careful you don't pick my onions. Look at how beautiful they are. I kind of want to pop one. Our onions, really. They're our onions. Well, look, I'm going to pop it. <laughs> Eat it. I don't like them. I definitely want them. They're so good. I 
I think that's at least 10 pounds a piece. It's pretty awesome. That's not even all of them. The reason we are picking all of them are as many as we possibly can, even the little ones, is because I want to see. So right now the plant thinks, oh, it's done its job. It's reproduced itself. It's grown seed. But hopefully by picking every single pea that at least we can, that we can actually see, the plant will go, oh no, I didn't reproduce myself. And it'll go through and put out another flush of flowers and we'll have some peas in the garden for a little bit longer. Probably them falling over will affect some of that, but I think that we will still have some snacking peas for a little bit longer here, especially after this big pick that we did today. Not as pretty as it was, but at least we fixed it. <laughs> Basically, we're just trying to trick these plants into creating more flowers, which is more fruit. Just like some flowers are cut and come again, some plants are harvest and harvest again. Peas are one of those. Green beans are one of those. Lettuces are one of those. Onions are not one of those. You harvest your onion, you're done harvesting. It doesn't grow a new onion. Unless you're just harvesting the green tops, then it grows back. The kids have gone inside, and this was kind of like their downtime. When I saw what needed to be done out here, I was like, please come help me. So they're heading back inside for a little bit of downtime. I have a couple of really big jobs I need to work on. I need to get this Tithonia moved. Turns out I didn't know what I was planting. And this is called Mexican Sunflower or Tithonia, and apparently it gets huge, so I want to move it. Another thing is, is all of the birds and squirrels ate all my sunflowers. I'm pretty upset about it, or frustrated. So I actually want to go in and replant them. Oh, we got some coming up. Some of them made it. <laughs> Through the massacre. Look, hooray. I still want to replant some of them because they're not coming up as thickly as I would have liked. Basically, I need to fix everything that has been destroyed by the, by the storm, by the birds, by the squirrels, all those things. Hello, beautiful cucumber. Just a little bit longer and I can get you to grow up this trellis. More storm destruction. This was gonna be a beautiful sunflower. The storm totally destroyed these two sunflowers three sunflowers. That sucks so bad. All right, let's go in and weigh this. As a matter of fact, let's go in and weigh everything we've harvested this year so far. I have all the numbers written down from past harvest so we can see about this year. Hey, you're awake. Now, this isn't gonna be like how much money we've saved because I spent quite a bit putting this garden in. However, it will be really cool to see how much money we have not spent on produce. All right, let's get to weighing. I'll be the first to admit these numbers are not gonna be perfect. For instance, my kids go out there and snack. For instance, my children are always out in the garden snacking. They snack constantly outside during the times that we have harvests. Also, I forget to weigh things, like a lot of our greens. I'm, I'm, I wrote down as many as I remembered to, but sometimes we just ate them. <laughs> um, also, or like with the peas, some of them we won't be eating the pod. Ultimately though, you know, all of the waste will be composted and so it will benefit us. It'll be less compost we have to buy later. So that's why I'm not gonna worry about exact numbers there's just no way to make it exact here's another example see we've got carrots everywhere that people picked washed and didn't finish eating but we'll eat those for dinner we've got more over here we've got more potatoes this is our third or fourth harvest of peas though all the ones that we harvested before we ate the whole pot so i have those numbers written down that doesn't include <laughs> the dozens and hundreds of peas that have been snacked on um I also have way more potatoes to harvest, way more cabbage, way more harvests happening. This is just so far in the season, what I've remembered to write down that we harvested. I got out two scales. This one's pretty accurate. I don't think this one will weigh the potatoes and the cabbages accurately. I think it only goes up to 10 pounds. This is just like a scale you use to weigh yourself and this is an actual food scale. So we'll see, we'll see what works out better. Okay, we've got our notebook out. We've also harvested a ton of herbs and some onions and quite a few flowers. I don't even know how to give value to the flowers, but they would be worth a lot of money. All right, let's 
see if we can weigh the peas on this little scale. Eight pounds, 13 ounces. Now here's the first round of taters. All right, it's on zero again. We'll put that on there. Hey, how's that carrot? I love seeing you guys eat carrots straight from the garden. Hey, 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 guys. All right, let's try this. I knew weighing this heavier stuff was gonna be hard. All right, let's tear it out. You helping? <laughs> you helping too? Is this the only way we can get anything done? I'll get you one. You have to sit down if you're gonna be on the counter. Sit down, all the way down on your butt, please. All the way down. Take your V off my potatoes. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Seven pounds, three ounces of potatoes were in this pot because it was 11 pounds, 10 ounces with the pot and the potatoes. That was this first round. We still have all of those to weigh. I'm gonna put them in here because these are gonna be the potatoes we are gonna eat for the next couple of weeks. You want to help me, Truly? I'll help. You'll help? Okay, sit down. That was better. Okay, can you, oh, don't throw it. Okay, just put it in. That was better. This round is at six pounds, eight ounces. Please don't touch them yet, okay? Hold on, hold on. Another six pounds, eight ounces. Actually, six pounds, nine ounces. I can't do anything if I don't do it with you guys, but it sure is hard sometimes. This one's six, ten. Oh my goodness, joyful. <laughs> you sure they're safe? Yeah, they're fine. You might want to go pour them out onto the couch. Oh my goodness. Thanks for watching them. Actually, I need to get some potatoes in the oven for dinner and we'll get back to weighing. In case you're wondering why I'm not working out in the garden, can't see it very well, but it is pouring rain again. You having fun? I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick up the cabbage ham These extra leaves here to weigh it. The one thing with the bokashi that I can already tell that I don't like is that you have to cut everything up really small. But like how small do they mean? Have you seen what I did? I haven't yet. Can I come look at it in just a minute when I'm done with this big old mess of a job? No. No? In a second. Right now I want you to. Oh, hold on, let me just finish this big old mess of job. For who? For us, making compost. For us, for our garden? Yeah. And then, are, are you putting that all in this? Yeah. Did I see what's in there? Yeah. Is that rotten? Not yet. Are you going to rotten it out? Am I going to what? Rotten it out for the plants. What do you think? Ew, that smells bad. It doesn't smell as bad as it could smell. It's the brand you're smelling. What's the brand? This stuff. Are you putting more in? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I didn't make all of this, but I did make a lot. Whoa. This is the place where they go, and then this is the door. Then I just. Very nice. I wouldn't even know what to do with myself if I didn't have cute little interruptions all day. What would I do with all that time? All right, I'm gonna roast the last of the broccoli harvest right now. What, do you guys want some broccoli? Broccoli. broccoli. Did you hear him? Broccoli. Eat your broccoli. Look, she's eating it. Truly. All righty. Now we know she's been faking not liking broccoli this whole time. She swallows it. Wait, what did you just say? Did you just ask for more? Okay. Here. 
Um, do I have some broccoli? Yeah, here. Um, well, yeah. Um, here, Royal. I wonder if Joe will do dishes. Oh, oh, Royal. Here, Royal. <laughs> Well, should we even roast broccoli for dinner or just eat it right now for a snack? <laughs> yep, just like I thought. You you just spit it out and then you eat another piece. You're silly, why do you do that? We like the actual flavor of broccoli, so we just do a little olive oil, Redmond's real salt, good stuff. Just good old pepper. Nothing beats salt, pepper, and fat, man. And I just kind of toss that like this. Throw it. Quickly, I need to make some coleslaw. Now I'm gonna make a really simple coleslaw with our homegrown cabbage, our homegrown carrots, and you guys can find that recipe right below here. It's so simple. The first thing I do is I cut my cabbage into smaller pieces that'll fit in my blender. I like a real classic Eastern North Carolina barbecue style coleslaw. I have to make this really quick. I was gonna show you guys how but I would just put a recipe below. I like mine cut up really small in little pieces for this particular kind of coleslaw. And I make a very classic mayo, vinegar, sugar dressing. Got the pork belly, frying up real nice. Homegrown taters. Can you help? Pork from our friends. Yeah, I put it down, I'll help you. Pork from our friend's farm, the Rhodes Farm. Homegrown <laughs> coleslaw. Homegrown bro. Oh, moment of silence. <laughs> it's been a rough one today. But we did it. We made it through. And we have a pretty epic dinner to show for all of our hard work. You want more? Okay, I'll get you more. We're gonna do praise God because I need that one today. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay, say, would you please pass it? It has, yeah, might as well call that a day. <laughs> it has been a day. I just realized that we had pork for breakfast too, but. We wanted to celebrate this garden meal with eating the last of our pork belly from last year. No, might as well call it a that, yeah. our pork belly. that we got from our good friends, the Rhodes. The last of the pork belly, but it is being honored by being on the plate with a full garden supper. Thanks for joining us. I will do a full video on all the produce we have grown so far this year and a cost equivalent. And we'll see you guys in a video real soon.